What's going on everybody? Matt with Patriot Comics here. So today I have a comic book haul from my local comic shop. All of these books here I got out of the $1 boxes. Uh, my LCS actually offers a deal, so the more you buy, the better the deal. I ended up paying about $0.75 cents a book, so I think that's a great deal. Wait till you see what I got. Let's just dive right into it and see all the books I picked up today. Uh, starting with The Human Fly. I think these books are really cool. They have great cover art, and the superhero is actually based on a real person. He was a stuntman, and they based this comic book after him. I think it's really cool. I picked up Human Fly, issue number three. Really cool art. We have Human Fly, number four. We also picked up issue number ten. Really cool. And also issue number 11. And this issue, a true-to-life account of the near tragedy at Montreal. So this was an actual story, pretty uh, of an actual event, I should say. Pretty interesting. Uh, I found Incredible Hulk 219. It has a little bit of ink up here. It's in pretty low grade, but for less than a dollar, I picked it up. Not too bad to get some uh, 35 cent Incredible Hulk books. I also picked up John Carter, Warlord of Mars, issue number 27. Uh, there's some word that Disney Plus might come out with a John Carter TV show. We'll see if that happens, but you know, you could spec on a little John Carter if you want to. I always think these books are great. I love the art, and I thought the movie was great as well. Uh, I found Marvel 2 in 1, The Thing Battles Tundra, issue number 56. Pretty cool book there. And most of these books are in pretty decent grade, um, kind of mid-grade. Some are in higher grades. So, you know, you really can't go wrong for, you know, 75 cents a book. Uh, this is Marvel 2-in-1, The Thing in Mortal Kombat with Moon Dragon, issue number 62. Pretty cool. Marvel 2-in-1, issue 75, The Thing and the Avengers. Awesome cover. We also found Invincible Iron Man, issue 140. Pretty cool cover as well. It's always nice to find an older Iron Man book in the dollar bin. And then a 75 cent cover as well, Iron Man 203. Nothing really special there. It actually, I didn't realize, but it does have a big chip off the corner. But what are you gonna do? Uh, we also found The Thing, issue 34. This was Death of the Sphinx. Uh, pretty cool book. Nice cover with the Sphinx. And that was issue 34. And here's issue 36. Um, this is The End of the Thing featuring She-Hulk and the new Miss Marvel. I thought it's a pretty cool cover. Not too bad. Uh, I did find Uncanny X-Men number 189. You know, a little bit of an uh, older 60 cent X-Men book, newsstand. It's in pretty low grade, but for less than a dollar. Uh, the X-Men versus the Avengers, number three. Really nothing special about this one. Um, it was a four-issue limited series. This is the third in the issue. I just thought it had a cool cover with Wolverine and Captain America and that big ship. Really cool. Uh, this was another really cool cover. I just grabbed it. Um, this is the uh, uh, X-Men anniversary issue. Not really sure exactly what this one is. I, I need to open it up and check it out a little bit more, but I thought it was a great cover and not too bad for less than a buck. I uh, also got this one here. Also just bought it for the cover, Wolverine and the Punisher. Uh, this is issue one of a th uh, three-issue series. Just a really cool Wolverine and Punisher cover there. I did find Marvel Age number 82 with the Squadron Supreme. Pretty cool. And this was, uh, oh, this had a preview of Cable and Strife uh, before um, this issue was before New Mutants 87. So it kind of gave a preview of Cable and Strife, which is kind of cool. So this is a little bit of a minor key. Uh, it's got a little bit of damage to the top left corner, but not too bad for less than a buck. Uh, I picked this one up just because I thought the cover was awesome and the book was in great shape. And this is Alpha Flight 
number 41 newsstand and it's actually the first appearance of purple girl if that means anything but still pretty cool a little bit of a not really a key but kind of a key according to key collector and then i just grabbed a couple one a couple different books here just for the covers and they were a little bit older books shogun warriors number three it's got a lot of chipping on the left on the spine there on the left side um kind of cool but not the best book or the best shape. Uh, Tarzan number four. I just love the covers. Tarzan's awesome. Uh, Tarzan Lord of the Jungle number six. Another cool cover. Kazar the Savage number 30. Pretty cool looking. And Kazar the Savage number 31. This was the origin of the Savage Land. Pretty cool. We also found this one here, which this book is in really nice condition. And this is Avengers 359. It's got Hercules on the cover. Pretty awesome. You know, everyone's loving Hercules right now. And this is the first cameo appearance of Anti-Vision. Really cool. It's a really cool looking cover. Not too bad. Found this in the dollar bin for less than a buck. I also found Secret Wars number one. That was pretty cool. Our Secret Wars 2, I should say, issue number one. First appearance of Thunder Sword, first appearance of the Beyonder. So, not too bad for less than a buck. New stand edition. It's in decent condition. And then this was an awesome find. This is X Factor number 10. It's got the 25th anniversary uh, border, which is awesome. I collect those. It's got a big. A portrait of Cyclops which it just looks awesome but this book here is actually the second full appearance of Apocalypse so I thought that was really cool I got this for like I said only 75 cents the books in really nice condition there's a couple little like dents in the cover you could see I don't know if you could see that on the camera but besides that I mean the books in really nice shape and you know i love these books with the uh the anniversary border it's got a great cover and it's also a pretty awesome uh a little bit of a minor key i guess you could say i don't know how minor that is second full appearance of apocalypse so really awesome i think my haul from the local comic shop was pretty awesome today uh we got a lot of cool books less than a buck a piece really can't go wrong um I did rebag and board all the books. That's why they look so nice. Uh, they usually they do come in bags and boards from my local comic shop, but they're in like uh, older wrinkled bags. So I I do rebag and board them. Uh, I'll recycle the boards if they're still in good shape. Uh, if they're you know stained or dirty or creased or you know messed up in any way, I will I'll replace the boards as well. But I always put them in new bags. So that was my haul from the local comic shop today. I got a whole bunch of really cool books, a whole bunch of minor keys, nothing, you know, crazy, but I think this second appearance Apocalypse was a pretty good find for less than a buck. Also, Secret Wars 2, number one, and, uh, you know, this Avengers book here, you know, all of them are really cool. I'm excited to add them to the collection. So let me know down in the comments what you think about my comic book haul today. Smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.